It's now a survey conducted by the Ghana Investment Promotion Centre on the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on foreign investors in Ghana shows an average revenue loss of uh, $75,000 in the second quarter of this year. Joy Business Editor George Rafa is in studio with me to discuss highlights of this survey. George, so what were the parameters considered in this survey and just how significant are the losses? So, so now the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, you know often we, we, we've all been this cliche about the fact that we've been all impacted badly by mm. COVID-19 and all the rest. Now, what they really wanted to establish is that, okay, we talked about businesses being affected. What is the real situation on the ground? Let's do it. Facts here. So between April and June this year, they engaged about 150 businesses to look at how this COVID-19 has impacted on them. And also, I also want to look at foreign direct investment, actually. Okay. If you want to look at the hard, um, what do you call it, the hard projects that came in compared to Q1, it slowed. But if you look at the value as well, the value has gone up. So you could say that despite COVID-19, in terms of the real impact on second quarter in value, things weren't that bad for the Ghana Investment Promotion Center and even the country in terms of the value of projects that actually came in. Now, back again to the service. So they engaged these businesses in trying to find out from them how things would actually fare for them, how things actually fared. They looked at the fact that, okay, for instance, what would the influence project coming into this country? What are your concerns, the future of work, and all those things? And so these are some of the things that they looked at from April to June this year in engaging about 150 businesses, those who have big firms in this country, those who are brought in capital and all the rest. So mm. that might give us a fair idea in terms of what they sought to look for the second quarter of this year in terms of the impact of COVID-19 on these businesses and NFDIs. So average uh, revenue loss of 75,000 yeah. US dollars. Yeah, and and, and, and that, that's the average. Some even lost more than a million dollars. So my question was, uh, should we be worried? How worried should we that be about You should this? be worried because, don't forget when these people also come in, they are bringing in capital, there's going to be job opportunities and all the rest. Also talk about the fact that mm. you are bringing in dollars and that has an impact on your reserves as well. So if these monies are not coming in because most of the time the law require them to actually save it at the Bank of Ghana or certain things, that has great impact on our currency. So if the inflows are not coming in that much, we should be worried in terms of our reserves, building up a strong reserves for our currency and even the economy as a whole. And also a bit about job openings and all the rest, and even about taxes as well. In times when we are having problems with us roping in more revenue for the country, a slowdown in FDIs could have an impact in terms of taxes for the economy as well, Darrell. So the question is, how do we make up for uh, these losses? Are there any recommendations being made? It, not actually going through the report, but you could also see that at the end of June, mm. the projects were picking up compared to April. So it tells you that Investors are more of long termish. They are somewhat convinced that, listen, COVID will be over very soon. So right. if you're looking at setting up an assembling plant in Ghana, would the COVID-19 affect that? No. So it looks like things have started picking up and it looks like going into the future next year, we might have a strong pickup in the economy. If you go through the World Bank report on the economy, IMF, they are projecting that things might pick up very good for Ghana. So it looks like they are seeing the COVID-19 as a short-term shock, but things will pick up going into next year. All right, we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much, George Jaffe, with that update.